One day, I will fit into that dress. For decades, Jenny Craig has been a household name in weight loss with celebrity endorsers like Valerie Bertinelli. I lost 18 pounds in just seven weeks. And Mariah Carey. Jenny gets results. All touting the brand's prepared meals, diet plans, and in-person coaching. You look great! But now, after 40 years, the company is closing its doors for good. In a termination letter obtained by NBC News and sent to employees, the company says after searching for a buyer, it was unable to secure additional financing. Hourly employees were let go Tuesday, and the last day for salaried workers will be Friday, according to the letter. Customers anticipating meal deliveries left scrambling, flooding Jenny Craig's Facebook page with complaints. One writing, I paid for my food and never received it. Jenny Craig did not respond to our requests for comment. The company struggles, just one sign of a seismic shift in the $75 billion diet industry. Fueled by inflation, cutting into budgets, free online options, and a new class of weight loss and diabetes drugs like Wagovi, Mongero, and Ozempic, widely popularized on social media. Baby, the hype is real. This new class of drugs out there could potentially have a big impact going forward. I think it's going to be a lot harder for these companies to, to keep brick and mortar centers uh, open. Facing membership decline, Weight Watchers recently purchased Sequence a company that offers telehealth visits with doctors to prescribe some weight loss drugs known to suppress users' appetites. The company plans to create a specific program for members using them. We can give proper information to the masses about the appropriate use of these medications. Noom was different for her. Because Noom, a fitness and nutrition app, has also reportedly launched a plan offering the popular drugs to clients if they qualify. NBC News reached out to Noom for comment but has not heard back, telling the Wall Street Journal the program is in pilot mode, saying, we feel treating weight loss from a medical standpoint is a natural complement to Noom's behavioral change tool as the world of weight loss and wellness undergoes a major shakeup. And while you may be hearing a lot about drugs like Ozempic and Wagovi, medical experts caution they're not designed for cosmetic use and not for everyone. Ozempic isn't approved by the FDA to treat obesity. And while Wagovi is, it's still a serious drug that can have unpleasant side effects like nausea. So, of course, it's always important to consult your doctor. It's an important story because everybody's buzzing about it. So Absolutely. Thank, thank you, Emily. Thanks, Emily. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.